This is hydrogen tap. This rather strange looking piece of hardware is actually in fact a coil in the back and two electrodes or two stainless steel screws facing each other and uh, we take a quick look you'll see that you see the gap is about an eighth of an inch there I've got it strapped to the face of the coil and I'm going to be able to run power through the coil and what we're going to do or is see just how a real field, I mean really close to that hydrogen, how that affects it. So the gap there is very small and we should be able to capture this pretty easy. First thing I'm going to do is generate the uh, hydrogen so we can see what it does. This is all going to go through a, me a amp meter as well, so we'll be able to monitor the amps. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at it running straight, that is producing hydrogen between the, the gaps here. Here's a better look at the uh, coil behind it. Okay, we're in for the kill, so to speak. See how close we can get here. Pretty darn close. There you go. I don't think I can get too much closer than that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is generate a field. I should say this. What I'm going to do is put current through those two screws. The screw on the right is going to be your positive. The screw on the left is negative. So you should see hydrogen coming off the negative side. And that it is. Of course, that is out of focus, right? See the little stream coming up. There's an interesting shot. Okay. So the hydrogen's on the left screw, oxygen on the right. Okay, now what I'm going to do is generate a, a current through the uh, coil in the back. By the way, we're drawing 0.11 amps. Okay, if I don't short everything out, uh, what I'm going to do first is let's hook up the hydrogen. And we're reading 0.15. See if I can get you a view of that. I guess that's going to be pretty impossible for now. Well, let's first take... There's the hydrogen coming up. You can see it. Not too shabby for two points. And we're drawing 0.14 amps current. There's a charger on the system right now, and it's char the high point is 14.30 volts. Now I'm going to hook the, the electromagnet up to this thing. Whoops. There. The electromagnet is drawing 4 amps. Take a look at this thing. Let 
not showing anything dramatic happening. Going to release the electromagnet. The uh, the draw uh, on the hydrogen is 0.14. When I put the electromagnet on, like now, same. So what we're looking at is with a magnet directly behind. Come on. And it is strong, and let me tell you. There does not seem to be any difference at all. I'll show you the stream. That's coming from the those two screws. I'm going to try to back this camera up here so that you can see the draw on this. Okay, there's an electromagnet on it. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, the uh, this meter right here, that's the amps that's being drawn by the coil. 13229 now is the voltage across the battery and the 0.14 is the hydrogen draw. That's an amps. So right now you can see that's the hydrogen coming off of it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the coil or the magnet off. Remember the 0.14 is the amps being drawn by the hydrogen. Now I'm going to take the coil off right now. That 0.15 is in relation to the battery since I took the the voltage, the uh, current, took the coil off the battery. So there's no change whatsoever. I'll take a long shot of that. Put the coil back on it. There's no dramatic change. Now one thing I can do is swap the coil around. How am I going to do that? Uh, okay, now I swapped the coil so the magnet field has changed. And guess what? There is an interesting change there. I'm going to take the field off. Now. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Okay, there's without the field. There's with the field. Taking the field off now. Or is it just me? I don't know. It looks like there's a difference. There's the field without. 
there's with it. Yeah, there's a change right there. You can see the change. <laughs>